welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And it's been a while since I have filmed in my parents' office. I grew up in a house of readers, and I love it. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about underrated books and fantasy. And for the books that I have, these are books that either I own or my sister owns, and I pulled them from her shelf. Not that she can stop me because she's in Japan. And all of these books have less than a thousand readings on Goodreads. These books are in no particular order. These are just books that I have loved, and I'm surprised that not as many people have read them. So I hope some of these you find interesting and you decide you want to pick up and go read. For the first book I would like to highlight is Never After by Rebecca Lickis. I found this when I was going through my subversion of fairy tale tropes. I read this pretty recently after I read The Enchanted Chronicles by Patricia Reed. And this is in that same vein. Um, it is about a princess who is headstrong and does not want to get married. And her cousin, who is the crown prince, has been following a story about a sleeping princess. And when he goes in, he finds the castle, goes in, finds the princess sleeping, tries kissing her, and she won't wake up. Ends up the sleeping curse is not on her, but on her triplet brothers. And so he needs a princess to kiss the brothers to wake them up. And he has to go and beg his cousin for help. And she's not going to give this willingly because she doesn't want to get married. And in this sort of fairy tale, everyone, you know, they, that's what they're expecting. And it was a lot of fun. So if you like fairy tales and you even like the subversion of fairy tales, this is one I would say go pick up. It's not very long because it's written more for a YA audience, but you can still like it as an adult. It's, it's just fun. Please go pick it up. The next I have an epic fantasy called Wind from a Foreign Sky by Katya Raymond, and I'm probably butchered that and I'm sorry. And this is the first book in a series that follows a prophecy about identical twins that will either save their country or destroy it. That sounds pretty normal, typical, standard fare, but you throw in Aegeus and twins that are estranged and have not spoken for a while, you get a little bit more uh, complications in this mix. Also, something I, find, I found very interesting was the country in question is considered a newer country. It was, it broke off from a bigger country and that bigger country wants it back. That adds to the prophecy as well. And I, the book, I haven't finished the series yet, but the books that I've read so far, I'm really enjoying. And it's really sad that not as many people have read this. So if you like more of an epic fantasy, if you don't mind prophecies or chosen one trope, the chosen one trope, I would say go pick this up. Next I have, so the book I'm holding is Break the Chains, which is number two in the Scorch Continent series. But the book I actually want to talk about is Inherit the Sky by Megan O'Keefe. Inherit the Sky is the first book in the series. And for all of you people who are loving her Velocity Weapon series, you need to meet Deton Honding because he is awesome. <laughs> like, all the characters in this are. And if you're looking for a book set in the desert, the first one in the series is set in the middle of a desert. This is an unforgiving world where people are just doing what they can to live and to survive. And there is magic in here, but those with magic are seen as the property of the state or the country and not as human beings. 
And so you have that element as the main character has this power and is working to not be in the state's control. At least that's the first one while they are doing other con man work. So this is a fun series. The second book, like I said, I'm holding the second one because that's the one I have physically, but I need to get the first one. And you all need to read this series, especially if you really are enjoying Megan O'Keefe. Next I have It Happened One Doomsday. Now this is a, I would say a paranormal romance kind of vibe. It is contemporary. It's set in Denver. So if you are local to that or are familiar with Denver, you're going to like the references. And in this, a young witch ends up meeting one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, except he doesn't know that he's one of the four men or four horsemen of the apocalypse, and he doesn't have a horse. He has a muscle car. This is a lot of fun, has some nice witty banter. So next I have is The Nine by Tracy Townsend. Now this is more, this is a fairly newer series. I think it's come out with the, within the past couple of years. I ended up getting to purchase this copy because I accidentally got some water damage on the library copy. So I own the first one now. Yay! I don't suggest you do that to library books. It just happened and I owned up to it. So now I have the physical copy. This is set in an alternative fantasy version of our world. And the characters in this book are living on America. But if I remember right, the continent's called Amadisia. In this world, we have humans, ogres, and forgetting there's a plant being, and I'm forgetting their name. Ooh. But a book is found that is writing itself, and it seems to be following nine people. But the, the people aren't mentioned by name. It will say kind of what they're doing, where the, it talks a little bit about location, but it doesn't say who the nine are. And there is a religious order who believes that these nine are subjects or experiments that God is following. And they want to study them more and use them for their own means. Now there are other forces in this world that think in order to thwart God, they can kill them or that they should be killed. No, basically nobody understands what is going on. And that is what the first book is, you know, starting to find out. It's like trying to figure out what does this actually mean for us? And if you like roguelike characters, this is definitely your, going to be your type of book. So I really would like to have more people read this one and talk to me about it because I need friends that are reading the series. Last but not least, I have Dreamfire by Kit Alloway, and this is a first in another series about a family who can dreamwalk, and the Dreamwalker Society is secret. So it's more set in this world, but with a paranormal twist. And as the main character, Jocelyn, is doing a routine dreamwalk, there is something sinister happening in people's dreams and people are dying. Some, it's not always the dreamer, sometimes it's the dream walker. And things are not what they seem to be. And this was really fun. If you have read any of these books, please let me know down below because I want to talk about them with someone. And are there any underrated fantasy books that you think I should read? Please leave those down below as well and I will go look for them. Thank you and have a great day.